<coughs> All right, we are live for break number 285, 2016, new Black Gold Collegiate Football. Video posted. All right. I hope you do better here, huh, Jeff? Were you in that baseball break? Collegiate one? Those boxes are wild. Mm. Oh, Raiders to Crystal for Panthers. Let me get that updated. Okay. I mean, case break of prime cuts doesn't sound like very good luck. Just two cards. Prime cut seems like it has a lot of boxes. See some monsters, Paul. I agree. Uh, we did this box once before. At least. I didn't actually have it right here. And I'm hoping for better than that box. Jason wants to see Easy E. That's funny to hear. Alright, let's get cracking. One trade, one sell. Panthers for Raiders and Redskins sold to Josh Overman. Crystal, I see you're up there watching. Um, Panthers for Raiders is confirmed. If that was incorrect, let me know. All right, guys, good luck to all you 2016 Mini Collegiate Black Gold. And one of the packs is falling down a little bit. Hopefully that's okay. Let's try this pack first. Much cheaper product than the Pro version. I was looking back through the last break we had. I mean, there's some, there's some hits. Nothing crazy. But maybe this one will be better. I was kind of saying maybe not because it's a lower $100 box. While the pro version's close to 200, this one's down there closer to 100. Alright, first card out is one of those thick ones. Somebody was just asking for old Miss players. This one, Laquan Treadwell. Gonna go to the Minnesota Vikings. Team symbol card on there. That one numbered 84 out of 199 will go to Aaron Lacasse. Uh, make sure that's 
decently smooth. And let me grab a top loader for you. Boy, if we buy a... I thought about buying more of these. Depending on this box right here, this box is going to decide if I go pick up like a case. These. Robert, well, if you're wanting more, hope for a good box. I'm definitely looking at uh, Collegic Immaculate and Collegic National Treasures. But I'm not sure on the black gold yet. Next car, Kenyon Drake from Alabama. Uh, Kenyon Drake, isn't he a dolphin? 88 out of 99, rookie patch auto, really huge patch on that. I don't know why I'm having doubts, but I don't like doubts. Kenyon Drake, are you a dolphin like I think you are? Yes, you are. Kenyon Drake going to Greg Flugs. Like college football, huh, Robert? And these collegiate versions, these are pretty cool. I do like immaculate collegiate. National Treasures collegiate. We haven't done one in a while. They were really cool, too. That's a beautiful patch. And this is a pretty good one. Number one out of 25, Jared Goff. With a three-colored patch. Is that from the pants? That is a pretty one. For the Rams, this one will go to Crystal Boyanski. Very nice looking card. Like every time I break black gold, I'm out of the big top loaders. That's one thing I could improve on is my top loader preparedness. Yeah, that one for a Cal fan, for a Ram fan, for a golf collector. Yeah, that's a cool patch card right there. I like that. Next card is a four-way patch. Um, South Carolina Gamecocks. This is Connor Shaw, Jadavian Clowney, Farrow Cooper, and Mike Davis. That one pretty slick there, too. Um, numbered 184 out of 199. And then we got Rams bottom right, Texans top right. Connor Shaw, wasn't he Raiders and Davis Vikings, or 49ers? I don't want to get your hopes up here. Let's double check those guys. Yeah, this is one of the only drawbacks, the college jerseys. Oh, Connor Shaw. Uh, I believe Browns, but... No, not Browns, never mind. Connor Shaw is a bear. If you look it up, he has signed with the Bears back in July and extended his contract here in 2017. He was a Brown, now is a bear. Mike Davis, where is he currently? You gonna give me stats there? Mike Davis is a San Francisco 49er. Okay, so we have Bears, Texans, Rams, 49ers. I'm gonna be a random. 
Sorry for the time that took. Shadowbox, Calvin Johnson, Detroit Lions, number 25 out of 75. This one going to Kyle Zender. Connor Shaw is the one that confused me there. I'm thinking of Connor Cook with the Raiders. That's why I originally say Raiders. That's why I hate Blurt now, my guess is. I may be right a lot, but there's still partially guesses. So sometimes I can be wrong. Alright, pack number two. First card is the big metal symbol. This one, Derrick Henry with his Alabama Crimson Tide symbol. That one's probably a popular card with some Tide fans. A rookie Henry. Um, two out of 90, 199. That one going to the Tennessee Titans and Mike Goff. Cool card going to you, Mike. Don't know much about it. The metal symbol cards. I keep meaning to look them up, but I've never had one of my own. They've always gone to you guys. Which I'm okay with. But it just means I've never actually looked it up. I should. Monster in this pack, huh? I'm ready for it. They're kind of skimpy on the autographs in the first one. What did we get? Just the RPA of Kenyon Drake. Only one autograph. Yeah, I think there should be two here. I thought they guaranteed three. This next card, nice big old blue patch. This one is rookie patch auto of Kenneth Dixon. This is Louisiana Tech gear number 26 out of 99. Kenneth Dixon. There again. I'm uh, pretty sure it's Ravens. But even with a sliver of doubt, I will look it up. <coughs> I would have been wrong on Connor Shaw's, even if I would have remembered Browns. He's gone from them. Uh, Ravens, 2016. Okay. Kenneth Dixon is going to go to Jeff Davis. Next card is a, that's a really cool looking patch. Player could be a little better. Colby listed me for TCU sizable signatures. That's the top of the seven there. That's pretty cool. Number 16 out of 25. It's got the spider thing going on with the seven. That's a nice patch. Anybody going to be able to tell me Colby Liston B, where he goes and where he plays? I know we've had him recently. Doesn't mean I remember. Colby Liston B is. Oh, now I remember. Buffalo Bills. It's going to Terry Archer. Sweet patch. Player might uh, not do that great. Uh, one hit left, I believe. This should be the last one. It is Laquan Treadwell. Rookie patch number 32 out of 99. That one going to go to the Vikings. And Aaron Lacasse.
Last card is a shadow box for the Buccaneer. Or, I'm sorry. I don't know what I saw. J.J. Watt for the Texans, numbered 7 out of 75 in his Wisconsin gear. That one going to Paul Stout. I mean, it was a cheap product, so maybe we got what we paid for here. Nothing crazy. There were some decent ones in there. Uh, the golf was pretty cool. The Derrick Henry medal was cool. Kenneth Dixon, not terrible, but nothing special. Let's random off this card here. I mean, what do you guys think? Should we get more of them? It's if you like go for national treasures, of course the prices go up. This one was able to be 450 because it's like 110, 120 dollar box or something. It's not as high priced as the others. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, immaculate is better. I agree. Connor Shaw was, oh god, I knew I'd forget, Bears, Clowney, Texans, Cooper, Rams, and Davis, 49ers, any Redskins, I don't think we had Redskins on this one. I'm going to rewind through the hits so we can double check. Rolling for four or better since there's determined spots. Three's not enough. Three's still not enough. We got a five. I'm going to shake these four teams up because they were clockwise. I list them clockwise. Five times one, two, three. Four and good luck. Five. 49ers are on top. 49ers go to Shane third. Shane wins the random. Lost one just last night, I think it was. So made it back for you there. South Carolina Gamecock quad card. Cool if you can find a South Carolina fan. I know if that was a Jayhawk card, I'd be very interested. Of course, I'd want it to be basketball. That one, J.J. Watt. This one was... Laquan Treadwell. Vikings. Yeah, it wasn't like a crazy strong. Box. I want to get some more national treasures. Kobe Listonby. RPA. We got Desmond Briscoe, huh? That's quite the name there. I was uh, pretty high on this one, RPA Kenneth Dixon. What's his face? The the white boy receiver who was Kerry Meyer. He went from quarterback to wide receiver, and just the fact that he could do that, I liked him. He had the long hair, like sunshine from Remember the Titans. He was kind of fun. Calvin Johnson shadow box. Him and I think it wasn't a him and Desmond Briscoe were on that pair with Todd Reesing that uh went to the Orange Bowl. That one Jared Goff pretty patch. And I don't even remember if they had to leave and Chris Taylor, the other cornerback that came out. We didn't realize what we had. Kenyon Drake, RPA for the Dolphins. I guess no wonder that team was so good. I feel like Tlaib was before that, though. 
Oh yeah, these two. They aren't going to fit in the team bags. I was just watching a little video popped up on Facebook. It was a key to leave. Uh, like, welcome to the NFL. They showed him hanging out with his family, watching the draft. They showed him get a call from John Gruden. Get all excited. I like watching those. Stucky, yeah. Stucky was good, too. Daryl Stucky, I think, from, like, Washington High School. I know he was local. And metal patch of... Laquan at Treadwell. I just put that in a team bag. Yeah, they were fun when they could actually play ball. Now it's awful following KU football. I'd be a lot more interested in college if they would actually do something every once in a while. Chris Harris Jr. Is that the one I was thinking of that was for the Broncos? I know they both played on the Broncos at the same time, too. Alright, these uh, baseball people are going to get upset at me if I don't go randomized. So, i got to go do that. We'll have some more football posted. 11 and 12. And that'll be it. See you guys later. OJ Howard going to be a Brady rookie. I'm confused. Who's OJ Howard? What's a Brady rookie? Anyway, let me go to this other break.